really like talking about books, if you can tell. So, um, you can see, like, right down my top. I am 18 now. You're allowed to look down my shirt. My mom would disagree, but the law would not. And I was about to say I follow the law. That's never been true. Hello. Hello. My name is Howie. Welcome to my ottoman. The middle of the year. Yet again. We have been here at least once before. And we are going to be talking about books. Revolutionary for a channel that is primarily about books. Question number one. Best book of the year so far. For this one, I'm going to say You Don't Have to Be Everything, Poems for Girls Becoming Themselves, edited by Diana Whitney. This fucked me up for a solid 48 hours. Um, I couldn't do anything but think about this book. Where's the one that I underlined? This one is from Ones Who Got Away With It by Bianca Stone. I'm painful to the touch only when I don't light a candle and praise oblivion, give myself over to nothingness. How am I supposed to function after reading that? Harder by Melissa Stein. If you're going to storm, I said, do it harder. With Pretty Legs by Talon Tahajian. If I'm lucky when the vultures convene to love me, I will already be dead. This book fucked me up. Please read it. No matter your age, your gender, whatever, read it. I, I would especially recommend it for girls my age. Um, I'm 18 right now, and it broke my brain. So, that's high praise. Best sequel so far, Heartstopper Volume 2, baby. I'm furiously working my way through these so that I can watch the series with my mom. She is impatient. She threatened to watch it without me. A new release I want to read is Good Rich People by Eliza Jane Brazier. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. A destitute woman deceives her way into the guest house of a Hollywood Hills mansion and inadvertently becomes a target in the twisted game of the wealthy family upstairs in the next intoxicating novel from Eliza Jane Brazier. Is it Brazier? Brazier. It looks like Brazier. Depending on which language you're speaking, it looks fucking awesome. I hate rich people. I can't wait to read it. Most anticipated book for the second half of the year. Mine is Lapvona by Otessa Moshbeg, who wrote many books that many people enjoy, none of which I have read, but I want to to start reading her stuff and this feels like a good one. I'm probably going to start with my year of rest and relaxation, but I also want to read this one. Biggest Disappointment, The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. Now, I liked this. I think I gave it like three stars, three and a half. I, I didn't not like it, but I felt like it had a lot of potential and the twist bored me. It was like so out of nowhere that I didn't see it coming, which is good, but it was so out of nowhere that there was no foreshadowing for it. Um, and I didn't love that, so I was a little disappointed. But it has been a remarkably good year for reading for me. I haven't had many disappointments. That's really the only one I could think of. Biggest surprise. No Exit by Taylor Adams. This is a thriller and usually thrillers like The Last House Guest are a one and done thing for me but I can see myself rereading this. Cat from Paperback Dreams recommended it which is why I picked it up. I found it at Goodwill. This is a book of the month copy. I don't subscribe to book of the month because I hate hardbacks but when I saw this I was like we gotta do it. You know it's $2.99. This was really, really good. Go Girl Bosco. It was fucking intense. And nostalgic. I had a weird childhood. Okay. Favorite new author. Alice Oseman. She makes me happy and also sad. She makes me feel the feels. Newest fictional crush. Francis from Radio Silence. That's the thing about being bisexual and having trauma is that I can fix him turns into I can fix everybody. Isn't that fun? Newest favorite character, Tori from Solitaire, which I haven't finished reading, but I love her so far. I see a lot of myself in like middle school in her. Do with that what you will. 
a book that made me cry. Obviously, radio silence. As you saw, the tears, they fell multiple times that I didn't even film. I was emotional. Still am. Don't know how I'm ever going to reread this, but I really want to. So that's a weird position to be in. A book that made me happy. Weirdly, The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Not technically a book because it's a play, but I read it freshman year and then I reread it this year both for my English classes. I loved it both times and this year I actually got to like have a class discussion about it, which was like a dream come true for a nerd like me. The most aesthetic book I've gotten this year for both cover art and interior content, the answer has to be Time is a Mother by Ocean Vuong. It's a signed copy because my life is wonderful. This book, what the fuck, dude? Where is it? There's one line in here I'm always quoting, which is, remember a morgue is also a community center. I have that memorized. How the fuck do you just write that? God. I don't even know how to talk about this book. It fucked me up. Poetry fucks me up, you may have noticed. That's why I love it. I like being damaged. I don't want to heal. I'm afraid of the unknown. Anyway, books to read by the end of the year. These are just some that I picked off my currently reading, but Daddy by Emma Klein. I just read the second story about the girl who works at the, like, unnamed but clearly, like, American Eagle style store. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but um, everyone says that's the best one. So far, I agree. Out of the two and a half I've read, but there are 10 in here, and I, I've i loved all the ones I've read so far, Like, but that one was definitely a standout to me. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Solitaire by Alice Oseman. I want to finish reading this. I really like it. Yes. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. I am rereading this for some fucking reason. Probably because I haven't read the last two Simon Snow books, and I need to start at the very beginning. Start at the very beginning to get the full picture. I haven't read it since, like... 7th grade? 8th grade? A while ago. Watchmen. I love Watchmen, so I'm reading it. Because that's an important thing to do when you love a book. Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sapetis. I am rereading this. I first read it when I was in middle school. I've read none of her other books, which is weird because she's probably my favorite historical fiction author. But, um, yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm liking it. Sock Hill Girl by Claire Legrand. Autumn Vibes. I think I'm going to finish this in fall. Love this book at any time of year, but especially in autumn. This is up there with the accident season for like autumn books I reread almost every year. And lastly, Firebug by Lish McBride. I started reading this also last summer on a camping trip with my dad, and then I just never finished it. So I'm going to try and do that. I also have the sequel, The Pyromantic. Thank you for watching, and as always, be safe and break the rules.